I love Gambia <laughs> and I love the Gambians and the Gambian people here, our family, our brothers and our sisters, because mm -hmm. we are attorneys. Um, you know, have done so much for us. E even we had a meeting with Minister Job, mm -hmm. and he, you know, of uh, he is a minister of um, employment and trade mm -hmm. and industry, and he was so wonderful. He's he was so yeah. welcoming, more welcoming than any MP I've ever ever dealt with in the UK. Mm -hmm. And I went to Parliament about racism. Mm -hmm. I went on, you know, Sky TV about racism. I, I've been on Channel 4 TV about reparations. I've done so much to try and champion the cause for our people in England, and all I got was a slap in the face. One question. You said England is a dump, and they're having a world uh, overwhelming reaction to that. The UK is not a nice place to live. I'll be honest with you. Think again. It is not what you think it is. The UK, there are high levels of poverty at the moment. 14 million, well, 14.3 million people live under the poverty threshold. Um, in terms of homelessness, the density of homelessness is high. The only thing that saves England is, if you like, the um, benefit system. But other than that, England is an absolute dump. It's a dump, and London is a dump. You have small pockets of nice areas, as you do in every country, but for me, England is a dump. Will you, did you regret saying that? Me, it's true. Why, why would I regret saying that? I could take you to Jaywick in Essex. You tell me it's not a dump. I could take you to some of the estates in Hackney. I could take you to some of the estates in, in Tottenham. I could take you to some of the places, even in Stratford there, yeah? I could show you so many places in England where it's a dump, Northumbria, uh, Teenside, um, even some parts of Wales, Scotland. I, I, I've been to these places, so why can't I say it's a dump? If that's what I've experienced and that's what I've seen, I work with homeless people up and down the country. Mm -hmm. Places in East London, dump. Absolute dump. People shouldn't even be living like that. Cockroach infested flats, dump, disgusting, with, with bed bugs and lice and but, but absolute disgust. Disgusting. And I mean, you're drinking used toilet water. At least you're drinking brown water here. But they're using reused toilet water. When people say to me, oh, but what do you mean England's not sanitised? What do you mean? I'm not talking about you washing your hands there. I'm talking about what you're washing your hands in. I'm talking about the geoengineering and the chemtrails in the air that you choke and that so many people are now taking inhalers because they think they've got asthma. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the pollution. But, 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 but us growing up in the Gambia, for example, growing up in Africa, we have never seen any pottery of such about England. How do I believe that that's the case then? I'll show you clips. Really? I, I have clips because I was filming and I've always been filming. So I dare any, mm. any person to come and challenge me because I've got evidence. I've got evidence. I've been to Stratford Centre at night where over 150 people are sleeping homeless in a shopping centre where we have to go and get food. Challenge me, go online, go online and look at homeless people in England. Look at shelter, go to all of the charities, all of the homeless charities in England. Go and look online, look at their figures of people who sleep rough every night. Wow. Go and look at Stratford Centre in East London and tell me how many homeless people are in there, how many people are getting fed every night. Tell me, why? Amazing. Now, now what will you... New clothes. It's the handiest place to have over Christmas. Of these homeless people, almost half are children. At least 117,000 English children face this Christmas homeless and in temporary accommodation. I don't understand how you could have people like kids like that homeless on the streets, and you want to complain about you know. All the, all the madness that goes on in the streets. I mean, we've got so many homeless people, but yet there's still so many buildings being, re uh, that being built up and redeveloped and stuff, but none of those actually help these young people. So it, don't make, it doesn't make no sense to me, and I think...